First of all, thank you everyone that voted for me. Uh, it was really touching and um, a lot of people came up and told me stories about um, their own personal road safety tragedies. Um, so I'm really pleased that I'm through. I'm a bit uh, buzzed and really nervous that I'm not going to be able to do justice to the project. But thank you everyone for, the, for your votes. Uh, my project was the Combi Code. So the idea is to put a, a simple identifier on top, on the front of a Combi, so that before you get on it, um, you uh, can scan the code and I'll tell you information such as is the combi regularly serviced, is the insurance up to date, is the driver of the combi a licensed driver and give you a picture of the driver so that you know that the right person is driving the combi. Um, there's a number of different add-ons that we're talking about doing like prepaid combi uh, so you can pay for your combi fare at the beginning of the month and then pay online as you come through. Um, corporate advertising, location, location aware advertising so from GPS that knows where you are, we can target ads for uh, businesses in the surrounds. Um, and also a routing system. So you can say where you want to get to in Harare, and the system will tell you how to get there, which combis you need to take, and when the next combi is coming along. How am I doing on time? Um, I need uh, anybody willing to do uh, market research, particularly business analysts, uh, web developers, uh, Android developers, anybody that's uh, familiar with GIS and, and mapping and routing and that, those sort of things. Um, thank you very much. Okay, good evening. My product was Agri Market. This is an app that has to do with uh, supply and demand of agricultural commodities. Because what I'm realizing is a lot, a, lot, a lot of people produce something that the market doesn't need at the moment. Like, for example, chickens. Whenever somebody's unemployed, the first thing they wanted to go do is chickens. But right now, there's actually a shortage for something like onions. And very few people even know this right now. And so if this information was really available to all farmers, people could um, produce more onions right now. And we wouldn't have to import them. And then to also find locations of seeds and fertilizers, all this information will be available on the app. And then to uh, develop when new techniques for production are, when there's new techniques for production of any particular crop, somebody can look this information up. We can link them up with uh, extension agents, whether it's like, let's say the tobacco research board, if you're doing tobacco, and they can find all the contact details and who to contact on using the app. And then also, um, what I'm looking for is uh, somebody to do market research and um, to possibly look into expanding into futures for the money aspect of, um, for the financial as uh, side of the market. So somebody who's good at uh, finances and um, a people's person, someone who can talk to people. So fluency, Shana, Debele, English, so that you can go talk to the uh, general population and to maybe government officials and other statistic collecting agencies. Thank you. Hello, so um, I was going to do the, the universal instrument, so I think maybe let me start off by telling a bit more about what it'll do. Um, there's two ways of sensing touch. The first is to use capacitive sensing. So this you could really easily make an instrument by just plugging wires into, for example, fruit or whatever else you want to use as touch sensors. So that would be one aspect of the device, and that's an easy one to prototype. But the one I want to also look at is um, every circuit has a resonant frequency. And if you have an inductor in the circuit, that changes the resonant frequency. And if you touch the circuit, you become part of it, and you change that frequency in a different way. And depending on where you touch it, obviously, this will have a slightly different effect. So what I want to do is have it's quite a simple circuit. They can actually take that data about what the resonant frequency is and also what the, the response of the circuit is at any frequency when you pulse through it. Take that data and send it to either a mobile phone or a computer where you've got a lot of processing power available to take that information, decide what note you're trying to play, and then output into a MIDI player or output straight away sound of whatever instrument you want. So this would allow you to take um, anything that's conductive um, and use it as an instrument. So it literally the, the limits are the sky. You can touch your dog and make that the piano. Um, so what I'm looking for is people who can do market research 
um, people who can maybe do some graphic design. We need logos, we need names, we need cases for the device, um, ideas for expansions. I'm sure it's really easy to have a little extra port where you can put, for example, a microphone so that when you want to play your instrument, you blow, you get that sound. That's when it knows that you're playing, so then that's a really easy way of getting um, extra input. You can have a pedal input, so we want an extensible platform as well as just a simple device to demo, and anyone who can contribute to that in any way would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, evening, ladies and gentlemen, again. Um, I'll, I'll go through my presentation once again, uh, which is to do with uh, uh, agriculture. Uh, specifically for our country Zimbabwe, we are seeing uh, food production has been uh, low due to challenges we have gone through. Um, and uh, therefore, we are uh, proposing that due to a, a huge uh, deficit in terms of uh, exports, we believe agriculture is, is, is going to play a huge role in terms of exports in Zimbabwe and increasing uh, GDP. And um, the current problem is there is lack of information uh, in the whole supply chain from the farmer right through to the uh, end user, the consumer. And uh, our app is going to equip um, everyone in the supply chain with enough information that can enable them to uh, do uh, agriculture in a cost-effective way uh, by way of linking uh, the farmer to the manufacturer, uh, removing middle persons who are necessary, uh, and then they are using uh, logist transport logistics um, uh, as well as retailers in such a way that uh, at the end of the day uh, profits are realized at each and every section of the supply chain and this is going to be through the use of our mobile uh, based uh, a mobile application that will take advantage of all uh, types of phones, feature phones, smartphones, uh, uh, ordinary phones which will be easily accessible for everyone throughout the uh, supply chain including the farmers, the peasant farmers whom we want to move away from a uh, peasant mindset to a commercial mindset. I thank you. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully next year we can vote by tweet. <laughs> Hopefully next year you will vote via Neocast. So this is exactly what we are talking about. This is the problem that we have. That we have so many people out there who really want to be part of this event, who want to engage and to collaborate and find out more about these ideas. Right? Now, in visualizing the, the, the presentation or the pitch, we can get these people on board. And that is exactly what we are talking about. I love this because it's kind of telling us that we are on the right path. Now, um, the other thing is, most of us here had ideas that we brought that we wanted to uh, try and validate, get people to vote for and the like. And for certain reasons, people voted for some ideas and not. And I think most of us would want feedback from the mentors and the facilitators as to what was maybe wrong with our model or anything like that. What we're proposing at Neocast is, apart from um, extending the reach of events like this across Zimbabwe and across the globe, we can also ask people who are passionate in entrepreneurship, we have Fahad here and all these other guys, to donate a bit of their time per week into assisting startups uh, to validate their ideas. So now it is very simple. All you need is to get up onto the platform, pitch your idea using the presentation, and all these people who have a lot of insight in entrepreneurship and technology can help you um, validate your idea. Because that's, that's the problem that we have in Zimbabwe. We have an idea and we think it's amazing and we put tons of work into it prior to validation. The other thing that we have in Zimbabwe is that we have good ideas, but we sometimes struggle to just put them across. Now given that you are pitching through Neocast, you have access to a recorded version of your own presentation. So you can now go through versions of it, improving the way you're pitching, improving your, your business idea and all that. Now to make this happen, uh, like I had said before, we are looking for an awesome web developer, a graphic designer, and somebody who has a bit of networking relevance. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, I'm big again. Well, uh, my idea was centered on sports betting, but uh, mine has been pro gambling thing. Uh, the situation at hand, a lot of sports betting centers have been uh, on a rapid multiplication in the, in the CBD. A lot of people are engaged in soccer betting, and uh, 
those rooms are really jam packed, really, really jam packed. And service delivery days is kind of something else. You wouldn't want to go there if you are pro that. But um, I'm proposing a website or an application, a mobile application, where you could do all your necessary paperwork, something that you could have done at the center, but you can do it online and uh, you are given a unique identifier, a unique number that you can check there and uh, proceed on the point of sale terminal. Imagine the amount of time you would have saved. That's it, thank you guys. For the whole process to be in motion, I'm looking for an awesome web developer, a guy who's good at networking and talking to people, and also a graphic designer. Thank you. Hi everybody, thank you for voting for me. Uh, my name is Alistair Banks. Um, I have had quite a bit of experience in a, in a startup and it's uh, running well, but um, this is totally different. We hate queues. I think queues are unsightly, they show an inefficient side to any organization. I think uh, the ones that we see along um, a certain avenue near a certain embassy uh, create health hazards, <laughs> are unsanitary, and I think they're a disgrace to the image that we're trying to portray in this country of being professionals. So, let's download an app that solves all that, solves, solves all that problem. Uh, not only for people, but that also allows us to um, take vehicle queues that I see at the GMBs around this country that are unsightly. A thousand gornetis in a day, let's get rid of that. Um, we can, uh, obviously, as, um, organizations that want to get rid of these queues can form a queue. Like in the passport office, it might be five different queues that you can join for that organization. Right? You download the app as the organization, you register the queue, you advertise to your clientele. The clientele download the app and they buy slots for that particular queue. They might also use the app to be um, or create searches for other cool queues around the country for different um, applications and different gigs. Now that allows us to also in, uh, integrate with ticketing systems and I've already had a word with Martin uh, from eTicket. I think we're going to join forces on this one and uh, offer ticket systems to this app. Uh, basically, I need guys that can code this thing, create the app, they can take on thousands and thousands of uh, web, app, uh, web entries a day uh, that we can also rebate to the um, organization part of that um, logging in fee. Thank you very much. QCAT, come and join the queue. Hi guys, uh, my name is the medical aid checker. And um, you won't think about medical aid until you need it. I have once had to stand in a queue with a broken collarbone for like two hours while the hospital checked my medical aid, which was very uncomfortable. So my app basically is a lightweight app which works on mobile devices with data connectivity that will check your medical aid for that if it's valid, what you are allowed to access and for how long and when it expires. So for that I would need a database developer, a mobile app developer, a designer, someone with strong business skills because medical insurance companies, medical aid and hospitals. And um, for scalability, we're looking at um, checking your license on your car when the police pull you over and all that stuff. Thank you very much. Hi guys, thank you.